Welcome to the review of chapter 12. In this chapter, we will focus on the dimensions of marketing strategies. So, as you know, in the previous chapter, we discussed about the concept of marketing. In this chapter, we will elaborate more about the role of the marketing mix and its importance in each, in each key dimension. So, marketing mix, as you know, it consists of four components, product pipe, pairs, promotion, and that is basically 4P for the product. Uh, here is the product development process to develop the new product. The important here is the classification of the product. We, we, did, we divided them into uh, a few categories. The first one is the convenient product. And that is a product that you basically see in the convenience store, uh, such as 7-Eleven or um, Family Mart. And that is the convenient product. It means that it is very easy to grab and go. The second type is the shopping product. When you, when you hear the word shopping, you might go for some new clothes, new shirt, or some new bag. That is the shopping product. And finally, the specialty product that are the product that is very uh, special or very specific. For example, you are the fan club of BNK48. That's why once the uh, BNK48 merchandise come, those fan club will buy that. So we call that specialty product. Then there are two keywords and then they are very important. The first one is the product line and here and the next one is the product mix. So product line is a group of closely related product. Later on, you will see an example of that. And then the product mix is mean all product that offered by the organization. So let's have a look on the Colgate Palmolive as an example. This company consists of four product line. The first product line is about oral care product, including toothpaste, Colgate kits, and toothbrush. The second product line is the personal care product. The third product line is the home care product. And finally, the fourth one is the pet nutrition. So we would say that if you look at a Colgate Palmo Leaf company, they have four product lines. All of them, they are the product mix for the company. So you must be able to describe product line and product mix. Then followed by the product life cycle as we mentioned in class that uh, we divided the stages of the product into four stages you introduce product to the market and then it's become a well-known product so the sales volume grow up until they reach a peak and then they go to the maturity and decline stage so product is the same as the people we have a life cycle so this, um, this is some example of the iPod uh, product life cycle um so uh in the in the first section of the this chapter we focus on the concept and more detail on marketing strategy then we focus on each uh, p of the marketing mix we we begin with the product and we discuss about the brand mark logo and trademark um we have three keywords here Manufacturer brand. That is the brand from the manufacturer. Focus on some example like ice cream wall. That is a manufacturer brand. And then we have the private distributor brand. Okay, such as Tesco Lotus, Big C, they have their own brand. And finally, the generic product. Those things are the product without brand, such as rice, tomato, or fresh vegetable that you can buy in the fresh market. In terms of the product, it, it also concerned with the packaging, labeling, and product quality. Okay, this is the dimension of the product. So if you look at this cereal, basically they have a very nice packaging that is part of the product characteristic. Focusing on price, price is uh, actually one, it is one of the key elements for the marketing mix, and it is really dealing with the revenue. Um, we talk about distribution, okay, how you actually bring the product to the customers. They have several uh, 
marketing channel such as the middleman, the one who act as the intermediary to bring your product to your customers. You have a retailer, okay? They buy from the manufacturer and sell to the end user in a small lot. Um, we have the word direct marketing, okay? Uh, the use of non-personal media to communicate a product. Okay, so they try to focus to each particular customers, and we have the word direct selling. Wholesaler is the one who buy product from the producer and sell to the retailer. They they won't deal directly with the end user. So uh, supply chain management, they talk about the distribution or place. So to deliver some product to the customers. Basically, they have several intermediaries or several middlemen. If you have a look on the orange boxes here, they are all the middlemen. Uh, distribution, they focus on how to deliver the product to the customers. And they deal with several uh, logistic uh, facilities such as uh, warehousing, material handling. Okay. And finally, promotion. Uh, the advertisement, personal selling, publicity, sales promotion, and marketing communication. They try to make the customer see their product, understand their product, that lead to their sale. We also discuss about push and pull strategy. In terms of the push strategy, they try to uh, motivate intermediary to push the product to the customers. Why a push strategy? They let the customers to order first, and then they pro pro produce the product and and sell to the customers. So if you look at the buffet buffet food, that is the push strategy. If you look at the a la carte, that is the pull strategy. Customers order, and then the chef do that menu. So here is an example of the push and pull. Um, that is all about the review of this chapter. Please focus on the important topic and good luck for your final examination.